e-bike live. Woohoo! Hey, I'm Brendan. We're here at the hangar store in Cape Town. This is Andrew Neathling and John Neathling's bike shop. I'm afraid this week you've got my ugly mug instead of Holger. I'm taking over the show on this episode, and this is episode three of Trail Explorer. to meet the uh, the star of the show. Actually, I thought I was the star of the show. Andrew, this is the star of the show. Oh, everyone, you've made it. Everyone knows this guy, Andrew <laughs> Neatling, owner of the shop with his brother. So yeah, he, he's gonna be showing us around. Brendan's obviously been around. He's come and trained quite a lot here. The shop's a newer addition to sort of uh, the tourist thing I do with the guys that are new, but uh, his brother's flown in. And uh, I'm quite excited because it gets me to show, like helps me show him something that's kind of old for me. Yeah, yeah. But I, I like to see everyone's faces when they see something new. And uh, the riding's just kind of getting better and better each year, more places to ride. Often you ride fire roads or hiking yeah, yeah. trails and stuff, and then there's purpose-built downs, but we've been able to build a few purpose-built up yeah. single trails, it's quite fun. So you um, might, we might even get some uphill flow on the way up to the top. Definitely, I've crashed going up. You know, the e-bike. Uphill too, flow too and too raggedy fast. down. is a bike park, trail center, all on some private land and uh, old uh, family friend built, marked out, awesome trails on the land that pretty much borders the bike shop, which is cool. So you can grab a coffee at the shop and pedal from there onto the trails. It's all marked and we've got everything from cross country trails to Enduro and then I used to train down all up here. The e-bike comes in pretty handy now when you don't have access to shuttles or you just want to show everyone around and show them all the trails and do a bunch of laps up here. Pretty cheap for what you get and it's only 60 Rand for a day, day pass but there's also a year pass where we've linked up with some other trails at the other side of the bike shop and in Hrabo, a neighboring area, and it's only 750 Rand, and you get to ride three trail networks for the whole year. So, uh, so 750 Rand in euros would be? Yeah, 35, 40 euros. So for really... 40 euros, you get the use of almost the whole Cape area for trails. And well, it's, not it's the whole still... Cape area, more the Helderberg area. Okay, the Helderberg area. And then uh, if you double that, so almost 80 euros or something like yeah. that, you get Yonkers Hook, which I'm yeah. gonna go show you, Bun hook, which is another secret one that I yeah. want to show you as well. So um, yeah, the trail access is just getting better and better each year. Often we meet up after the guys have finished at the hangar and I've dragged Pitt from the shop. We got him off work. And we said, come, you know, come ride with us, show us some of the jumps and the fun stuff here, kind of in the middle zone of the mountain, before you head down to back to kind of where the shop is. We're um, literally in my opinion, doing what e-bikes are made for. It's just utilizing the mountain to the absolute full, riding every single trail. I think normally if you have like two hours, you come out after work, come and do three, four tracks, job done. It's quite a big climb up from the shop, so your legs are a little tired, but there's a time and place for one of these where we can ride up from the shop and do 10 trails. I've still got four bars of battery left, so yes. I might be here until it's dark. 
I think it's time to have a beer and get to know Jan a bit. Oh, well, welcome. Uh, I did bring a spade and a rake, so I saw what you did to my berms. So <laughs> could you please come in to the back of my bucky? When you guys were still youngsters and you were rushing down these, these mountains on this side, and I was busy on that side, one little hardtail with V-brakes, and we started like that and started scratching and developed, developed, and I saw um, Andrew and John T and their dad would bring them up here. I mean, this is 20, Easy, yeah. 20 25 years. And uh, bringing them up, and they used to just gun down this road. The hiking and trail. The hiking yeah. trail. And then uh, we started, div oh, so add a corner, add this, add a little straight, add a little jump. And then uh, eventually we've got now about 25 kilometers of trails here on the mountains between myself and two other farmers. Now you're seeing us on e-bikes, you've got an e-bike as well. We're almost shuttling ourselves and riding way more than we used to in an evening after work. So I just use the 4x4 trails, shoot right back to the top and then I've got six or seven lines to choose to go down. And an hour, hour and a half later, home, have a couple of beers, great fun. We've been up and down this mountain trying to show Brendan and his brother around and I think we've earned a little uh, alcoholic uh, beverage. Stellenbosch and this area is surrounded by amazing trails like Andrew's house is 20 minutes down the road this particular area we've got a little um, it's not little it's a mountain over there called Yonkers Hook and there's a massive network of trails in there which is really super popular with uh, cross-country racers and riders um, a lot of the racers cross-country racers particularly come over here and train out there all uh, all European winter, which is South African summer. So there's a huge network of trails in there, which we're gonna go utilize on our e-bikes. My breakfast of e-bike champions is poached eggs with herbal mushrooms and truffle oil, mushrooms sauteed with butter, cream and fresh herbs served with a poached egg, fresh rocket on toast, topped with the Parmesan shavings and truffle oil with bacon. Thank you very much. I've gone a bit, I guess it's American style, I've gone for French toast with bacon, Greek yogurt, fresh fruit, so yeah, that's my choice this morning. We're in Yonkers Hook, it's one of the oldest trail networks actually, probably in the country. Carl is an old friend and he's happened to be managing the ecotourism and mountain bike for MTO trails. So Carl, talk us a little bit yeah. about the vastness and sort of how many trails we well, welcome, can expect guys. to see. We're expanding on our offering, we, we're adding accommodation into it, you know, we've put in a little coffee shop, but um, a lot of people come up and ride you know, our, our sort of trail network. Yonkers Hook is quite a big mountain and uh, on a normal bike, you know, you, you might be able to shoot up and do one or two trails and then you'll be spent. Um, whereas with an e-bike, you're able to access the whole park, you know, get a whole lot of trails in it in one ride. Um, so it's nice to see a lot more e-bikes up here. Ventured just outside of um, Stellenbosch in this uh, lovely uh, vineyard, farm, cafe, restaurant area called Boschendel, and we're um, sitting down and enjoying the uh, the gardens, oak trees everywhere, lovely shade. 
having a lovely lunch. So um, yeah, so far so good. Just because we are apparently e-biking doesn't mean you shouldn't treat your body and your bike as important as normal. Just had an amazing lunch. We're here at a new riding location. This is called Bunhook. Uh, this is still in a really close radius for Stellenbosch. And we've heard this location might have some wild animals in it. So we're, we're pretty excited to ride bikes on these amazing groomed trails and get the chance of maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, bumping into some wild native animals. and meat that you find on a cow. <laughs> and if you're a vegetarian or vegan, would you Avoid it at all it? costs. <laughs> oh, no. Cape Town at 9.30. Or 10. 10. 10 for breakfast. I can see and it. then we hike up Lion's Head. Lion's Head and you get an amazing view down onto uh, Camps Bay and, uh, and Cape Town as you walk up. The challenge is, well, we've had a lovely wine tasting. I, we're actually so spoiled for choice. If anyone comes out, I've chosen one wine farm because there's some amazing views, but yeah, we're spoiled for choice. And uh, apparently we're going to teach Christian to hit a golf ball. wrap on this episode in South Africa we've explored all the amazing trails in the Stellenbosch region huge thanks to Andrew for showing us around we've got some of the most amazing e-bike trails all around this area we've had an amazing time I think you'll agree I, I agree and what better place to end this series than in a wine farm in Stellenbosch sorry it's me this time next time it will be back Holger on this episode so um, head over to the Scott website to see the previous episodes and uh, thanks for watching Cheers.